guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of, whoa, another cat tag. <laughs> no, surprise, surprise. I know you guys are going to have a heart attack from no surprise. <laughs> uh, but this one is called Cat Tarot, um, and I, I have reviewed... I think it was just called The Cat Tarot. This one's Cat Tarot 78 card deck, so the two don't get confused. This comes to me all the way from the UK, and I love that the box has this cool, like, little, well, it's a giant sticker on top, um, and I love the artwork. And actually, she decorated the bag, too, the bag that it came in, uh, you know, the uh, padded envelope, so it was so cool! Um, and here's the bottom, and you can find her at... Rachelou, Rachel Logan, um, dot com, and uh, that's also how you can find her on Instagram. So it's at R A C H I L L U um, on Instagram, and that's actually the full card, which is awesome. I've already used this plenty. Um, this doesn't have a guidebook inside, um, but I mean, if you're pretty familiar with um, Rider Waite Smith, you should be okay with this. So this is a massive box. Um, so when I travel with this, I actually put it in a bag so that the the cards aren't flying all over the place. Um, because I guess, you know, if you wanted to travel with this box, you could put the deck in here, plus like a crystal, plus like a little mini cloth, like a little handkerchief or something like that. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> this would actually make pretty, pretty good, um, like all around uh, travel if you wanted to. So I'm going to put this off to the side here. Let's take a look at these. So um, they are square, so they do kind of get shifted around. I don't really read reversals, but you know, if these get kind of like mixed around when I'm reading, I mean, like, whatever is their square, that's, that's going to happen. Um, so the type of paper they're on, it's actually like really thick, um, well, maybe watercolor paper or art paper. Um, so, I mean, you know, if you crease it or, I mean, it's probably going to bend pretty easy. So I probably wouldn't like riffle shuffle this, um, or like side shuffle. Plus, I mean, it's, it's so tiny. I mean, how could you, um, well, some of you guys got riffle shuffle skills, so maybe I don't want to ask that, but, uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's that super thick, um, art paper cardstock, um, you know, definitely like the kind for watercolor and, and stuff like that. So on the back, we have um, all four suits, so you know we have uh, pentacles, and we have cups, and we have swords, and we have wands. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then you got the little sun and the moon, and that biz. And then you have uh, down in the little corner um, the the artist, so Rachel Logan, Rachel Yu. So, um, but you know that's whatever. It's a little not bothersome. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards. Okay, I had to zoom in quite a bit because these are so tiny. Um, I also did want to mention that they're not cornered. Um, they have pretty sharp corners actually. So, you know, if you're, you know, I guess a person that likes to maybe, you know, do a little rounding of the corners, I guess you could do that. For me, it's fine because they're small enough where I don't really jab myself. Um, and I do want to note that there's a lot of white space and then we have these very kind of like simple quirky borders but it works for me you know I like the focus being in the middle here and I like it that it's it's very simple um, so I do want to say that they are out of order because um, I have been working with it like I said it's been traveling with me I put it in a little um, like velveteen bag um, and throw it in my purse and I make sure to be a little bit more careful with it because it doesn't have a coating on it or anything. So, um, if you do spill water on it, that's, that's not going to be too good for these cards. Um, you know, so, and also I, I would say that, you know, if you left them out in the sun, they probably would fade a little bit, uh, just because they're on art paper and they don't have, uh, anything protecting it. By the way, I love the little like kitty butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Loki and Wally. Like, have you seen my butthole? Um, let me show it to you. <laughs> so I really think that this uh, embodies like what, you know, kitties. And I mean, the last couple of decks that I reviewed, you know, the considerate cat tarot, the other like cat tarot. Um, yeah, they, the artists are just really good at capturing um I think I reviewed the weird cat tarot as well. Yeah, but the artists are really good at um, capturing, you know, 
um, our little kitty friends, our little familiars, our little buddies, fur babies. So like I said, this doesn't have a guidebook, um, so you, but you could probably use a guidebook from uh, a Rider Waite Smith deck, you know, um, because this pretty much closely follows that. Um, oh, what I like about the High Priestess, you know, uh, how usually there's the, the columns? Well, it has the, a white book and a black book, and it has the names of what those columns are. You know, usually there's like the B and the, and the J and, you know, for symbolizing like what those columns the names of the columns so I just thought that was like a cute little touch and um yeah as far as like maybe a beginner deck I guess well anybody can g begin anywhere I guess wherever you start is where you begin right <laughs> like I'm gonna be where I'm at but um you know if you're gonna use this maybe as a beginner deck I would probably just get something that has the meanings of Rider Waite Smith like a little guidebook or something that you could find you know people have made like beginner tarot books you know that might be really helpful um, I think it was Brian Cormac Carr uh, he did a really good job um, with some like beginner books if you wanted to check that out you know if you are looking for something for a beginner deck and maybe you're not here to look at buying anything, which is perfectly fine. Uh, maybe you're just here to look at some cute kitty pictures. And in that instance, well, look away. Look, look, look. Have fun. And my favorite card in the whole deck is always the Empress. And these are quite thick, so sometimes I, I might actually like grab two at once. And since they're square, they get all twisted like this way and that. But that just makes them fun because it's like herding kittens. Ah, oh, I made a funny. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I've I, I follow Rachel Logan on her Instagram. I love her artwork. You know, I'm planning on maybe like getting some other stuff of hers, like like art art pieces, um, because you know, I mean, I'm a connoisseur of art, and maybe that's why I like the tarot so no, so so much. Is not only because it's, you know, I love divination, but um, I just really love art. And with tarot, you get 78 pieces of art. So. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm really just an art connoisseur. <laughs> oh, look at that Queen of Wands. Actually, somebody planted some beautiful um, um, sunflowers at the bottom of my hill. I'm thinking about getting some sunflowers myself. See, this little pile gets all wily over here. And the magician. You know, I like that everything is just compact. It's simple. It's like, hey, here's all the symbols, most all the symbols, you know, for you to be able to figure out what that card means. And I will say, you know, let's say you are starting off on your tarot journey, although I, I believe it is good to um, learn the meanings of whatever uh, system it is that you're using. I also believe it's good to use your intuition. So like uh, for me, if I didn't know uh, what the Three of Swords was, I could look at this and be like, OK, there's a heart. There's like some rain and clouds and three swords. I'm feeling like this isn't a good card. You know, I'm feeling conflicted or something like that. And you would be right, you know, um, and maybe you can get some more out of this. So, you know, always use your your intuition along with your knowledge. I think that that proves to be some really good readings I like the three of pentacles like let's work together with this ball of yarn and yay the ten of cups and oops 
I'm just making sure like none of them are sticking together just because they are kind of thick they kind of do stick together okay let me zoom back out so let me give this a little shuffle shuffle like I said they kind of go all over the place but I'm just gonna pull three cards okay there's gonna be one <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little general reading um, just so you guys can see how how I read with these so here's the Empress so you can see it's just it's just a little you got to be a little bit more patient when shuffling with these and be a, a pretty careful so that um, you don't start jacking up the edges of the cards because like I said they're not coated so you just have to be a little bit more gentle um, with these cards okay just a little FYI in case you are thinking about getting these uh, these were very reasonably priced and um, I mean, coming from the UK, they came in like a week. I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna place those there. All right, so the cards that we have, we have the Death card, we have the Empress, and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, and this just being very general, I'm just showing you like how I read with it. Um, so here we have like, you know, bones and little like birds with their ex <laughs> their eyes all X'd out. And we have a little, little like mouse with its little eyes X'd out and the Empress just chilling here. And then we have this like cat who looks like he's like, yeah, cause he, I think he just like kicked the buttocks of these like two little kitties down here. Um, so overall I would say that, you know, whatever changes, um, happen in life you know maybe you're going through a, a move maybe you're um starting school maybe you just finished school and you're going out into the workforce or whatever it may be um the way to really sit in your power and to honor yourself is to know that <laughs> change is, is unavoidable um and um you know you can come out the winner as long as you can like roll with the punches and go with the flow you know because the more you resist uh, the harder things get for you. So, you know, just, just a little, just a little mini, mini reading there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If you already have it, maybe you're thinking about getting it. Maybe you're just like, Hey, I was stopping by to look at like 78 really cute kitty pictures. And I hope you dug that. So, uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, place that down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. And if you want me to use this particular deck, just let me know upon booking. And in my website, I have my Wally's World Oracle, which is open for pre-orders. The deck is shipping out this week, which I'm super excited. It's coming to Kittens Weights and Tarot HQ. <laughs> and then I can start uh, shipping out my pre-orders. I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, so, um, oh, and don't forget to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot, where I have lots of goodies for all my homies over there who uh, love what I do and they're supporting what I do here for as little as a dollar. So, you know, that's, that's enough to get me a little... I actually a really, really small something <laughs> over at Starbucks. Good thing I have former students who work there who can hook me up. All right. So, uh, yeah, I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love and chicken grease. Peace out.